Hello, welcome to Oz Scale Modeling, and welcome to the Ravel Level 5 Queen Mary Ocean Liner build. And this is part 22. And in this part, I'm doing some of the railings. The main reason I'm doing the railings here is because I'm going to finish off this side of the the lifeboats, the zodiac lifeboats. The other side's already done. I'll show you a picture of what that looks like. Maybe easier. I'll put a photo up. You can have a look. Come up quite nice. So what I'm doing is continuing on. Uh, and these this sides, um, the parts are all painted. I've just got to put them on. I'm just giving them a bit more time to dry. So the railings will go all the way along here. Reason is because I need to put these little launches, motorboats. And to do that, the railing has to be put on first because the, the structure that they're, the platforms they're on sort of sits over the railing. So, yeah, it's going to be much easier to do that first. Now, the trick with the railings is that uh, they've got these tiny little, I don't know what they're called. You're going to have to tell me in the comments. I'm sure someone knows. Okay, so I'll put a photo up now. And there's a, an idea of how small these are. And as you can see in the photo there, next to the match head, the razor blade and the millimetre ruler there, they're quite tiny. And um, those little extra pieces have to go on the railings. There's ten of them to make, five on each side. Here's the first five that I've done. So I've put them together, I've glued those little extra pieces on, and they're ready to go paint. So I will go and put a primer coat, give that half hour to dry, and then I'll put the white, paint them white, and then I have to do the same for the other side. So I'll, while these are drying, I'll do that. Now, one thing I want to point out is a mistake in the instructions. If you happen to be doing this ultimate edition, uh, platinum edition, something worth noting here is that so what we're looking at here is there's all the railings up either side. These are the little pieces that we've got to fold into four sides of the little piece to, and glue that against the railing. Now, if you went, if you go by the picture of the railing here, um, they've actually got them the wrong way around. So right, the railing piece 22, 12, 15 and 11 are not actually on that side of the ship. They're on this side of the ship. Because if you want to mount these the way they're supposed to be mounted and almost impossible to see unless you've got magnifying glass on, but um, you'll find that you can't do that unless it's the opposite piece. Um, so just, just be aware of that. Make sure that I'm doing like I am now, I put a little arrow saying reverse side. So this piece of railing 22 will actually go on this side of the ship. And this one, this railing 24, will actually go on that side of the ship. Uh, that's if you want to fit all of these on the correct, with the railing facing the right way. Okay, so yeah, just just a good a little mistake though. A mistake that was picked up there as I was working along thinking well hang on that doesn't look like it does on the picture you know to, to give you a better idea if I can if you look at that and I think we might be able to focus in okay so now as you can see there the railing sort of goes across that little metal piece on there which this is glued to now, if I turn this over, where it's actually glued is flat, but there's nothing there. It's just blank metal. If you did it the wrong way around, that's what would be showing on this side rather than the railing going across, which sort of shows it, this little whatever they are. I'm sure someone in the comments will let me know <laughs> the way that it is. And my camera just froze up, but let me come back and fix that. 
Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Um, because of the photo etch and that tiny bit of metal that I need to fold, I had to bring out my master tools photo etch um, tool here to help me clamp that down and get those edges folded properly. This was going to use this, but I don't use this very often. Um, bender tool, I find it's too flexible and it's very hard to hold a piece under it and bend it without this thing slipping. I tend to use more often one of these, just a solid little ruler. In fact, quite funny, I, um, everyone talks about dropping photo etch and losing it on the carpet. <laughs> Yesterday I, I dropped this on the carpet and I heard it hit the carpet at my feet and I thought, ah, don't worry about it, I didn't need it anymore. So I thought I'll pick it up later. You know, I forgot about it. So this morning when I started working on this photo etch, I thought, oh, I need my ruler. I need my little ruler. So I went down and looked for it, expecting it to be there on the carpet and it was gone. And I couldn't find it anywhere. I was right under the table. Uh, under the table here, I've got like a mat to put my feet on. Not there, I looked under the box, all the plastic parts in it, everything. Couldn't find it. And then I started thinking, well, maybe I did pick it up. So I started searching the table and I looked around, mat, looked around all, this, all the, the rubbish I got on here, but it's an organised mess, so, you know. Anyway, uh, it turns out that somehow it must have, it's, it, I did find it over on my shelf where my models are. It had bounced on the carpet over, landed on the shelf, but didn't just land on the shelf. It landed and slid between the pages of a model, modeling magazine I have sitting on the bottom shelf. <laughs> and I was really thinking, well, where the hell? I was running out of places to look. I just happened to move the magazine and it fell out and I thought, wow. So look at that. You can even lose something this big to the carpet monster. <laughs> anyway, all right. I've got to get back and finish this railings now and also complete and put all these on this side like I have the other. And then we'll come back and have a look at um, fitting the little launch that's going to go in here. Okay back shortly. Hello, welcome back. So it's been a day or two because uh, I've had to go back to work, which sucks because it takes up my modeling time. But anyway, we've got to live, we've got to make money. So what I'm going to show you here is I finished the railings all along that deck under the under all the lifeboats. I can show you one side and I'll just tilt this over. Okay, I'm not going to it's not going to sink. Probably looking a bit like the Concordia at the moment, but there you can see there's our railings running all the way under those lifeboats there. And it's the same on the both sides. And there's also the little launch, little motorboat here is in place. So now, but what I've got to do now is I'm going to put the mast on. So I figure I might as well get that up on there. And then I'll just check on um, some of the railings I might work on on the upper deck here. But when it comes to the instructions, well, I've ticked off um, uh, step 61 now. Um, obviously, that shows all the original plastic railings, which we're not using, so we replaced it all with photo etch. Uh, the little launches on that. And 62 is ticked off. Well, that was well and truly done when we did the cranes for the little lifeboats. And that's all done. I'm, I'm sure I already showed you that in the previous video. That's done on both sides. So now we go over the page. And 63 and 64 are up on the bow here where we're going to do some work here. So there's an anchor going on there. A couple other little cranes going on. So we're going to come up and do that. But uh, before I do that, like I said, I'm just going to go through and check what railings we need to put on the top here, as well as uh, I mentioned on the other video, the wind brakes that go on here. 
and just any little pieces I may have missed um, that are involved with the photo etch. Because the photo etch is actually completed on this page. So, <laughs> so all of this, which is page three now, uh, that's all done. Uh, all of this, the railings I've just done on either side, is all completed right through to all the little life rafts and zodiac rafts in there. So with this, I guess we turn this page over now and see what we've got. Let me just sort myself out here and we'll have a look. Back in a second. Okay, so just going over some of the next page, page four of the photo etch. A lot of this we've done, uh, which was the decking around the, uh, the bridge. Um, we've done all this in the previous videos of the mast. So that's all been done. And this is coming down here to the actual tennis court, basketball courts. So there's a lot of photo etch to be done for that. Uh, there's some little aerials here that need to go above on the top of the bridge which I might be able to get that done. There's a few little bits and pieces. I think most of that's done as well. But it looks like mostly around those uh, the courts on the top that will have to be done. And I have to look at the way I'm going to do that because I mentioned in the previous video, I've got some green netting, which I'd like to use in this to put around on that. Otherwise, it would be just plastic. They have plastic, um, clear plastic going around that going by the instructions and that just looks completely wrong to me because that wouldn't be the case see, so we went to the instructions and looked see they're putting sheets of plastic together that go down as surrounds for the court which is not on the ship the ship actually has netting to prevent um balls going overboard <laughs> all right so um Anyway, um, I'll get onto this. I'll put the mast on. We'll come back and have a look at that. And I'll just check on the railings that need to go around on this complete. Bring it over a bit so you can see all this area on the top deck. All right, back again shortly. Okay, welcome back. Um, so, like I said, here we are back here with the mast on. I uh, can't see it too well there. I'll actually bring the camera around and we'll have a look at it from the side because it looks pretty good. Um, oh, and down here I've also got a few bits off for the front. I don't know what that is, a foredeck on there. Um, there's a couple of pieces here with some photo etch ladders I put on. The cranes are there, the anchors there. Uh, they're all ready to go. I'll just keep them aside for the moment. Um, I mentioned before about the railings I wanted to check on here. Well, there's actually not many railings here. It's actually glass panels that run all the way along around the top here, not railings. So they need to be taken off the sprue and sprayed. So um, just let me come back and we'll have a look at this uh, from a different angle. Back in a sec. Okay, so there's a better view of our mast on the top there looking quite good all the painted lights on there and there's obviously a lot of railings and stuff to be done about around those courts and everything um, but most along this deck area here is all glass and uh, windbreak i'm pretty sure but I'll go along and have a look at all along the top there. Uh, you'll see I put the glass roof in that's just sitting there. That can be slide out closed if I want to. I've just set them on there. And, uh, and of course, all our lifeboats. Get a better look at all the railings underneath. All the way along here. Starting to look like a proper... Ocean liner now. So uh, I'll um, do, there are some aerials, uh, photo etch aerials to go along the top on here, which I'll, I will be putting on. And uh, yeah. 
All good. And of course, down here are the bits for the front uh, cranes and another couple of towers on there. Just ready to. I've already cleaned them up. I've glued the photo etch ladders on there, the little platforms they come with. And uh, yeah. So I will get back into it and uh, we'll be back shortly. Okay, welcome back again. So what I'm doing here is I'm getting everything ready to paint. I've got our little cranes here and those two little towers, the photo etch, ready to go paint. I've also decided to do the railings that go around here. So I've got them already bent to shape. They're quite easy to do. Um, I'll show, actually show you one of the tricks I use for bending railing like this. So all I do really is I have a piece of foam here, just a piece of black foam that I think this came out of a drone I bought. I've had it for ages. It's quite solid. It's a little bit soft, but mostly quite solid. What I do is I can lay the railing down on there, and then I have an old um, needle from an airbrush and I use that to roll it. And depending on the pressure you put down on it, it will depend on the angle and the amount of curve you put on the railing. So what I do is I start slowly running along from one end to the other and you'll see it slowly curve up. And keeping an even amount of pressure is very important as well. And then you test fit and you come back roll it again and then you might find one side needs a bit more than the other so you just do that side and slowly work it up until eventually you end up with a nice curved piece that fits perfectly and another thing i do too is it doesn't have to fit perfect don't um try to get it perfect because most railing is fairly flexible in a little bit anyway so you know, when you're gluing it on, you can actually, you know, just spot glue it in a few spots and do half of it. And then when that's dried, just go around and, and if there's a slightly bit more of a bend it needs, just glue it and it'll, it'll still stay in place. Nothing worse than going and bending something too far and realizing, oh, you've got to straighten it back out again. And then you end up getting some awkward looking little bends in there and it's just not looking even. So the secret is to do it really slowly, work it around. Also, I have uh, these, which is the jack staff and the ensign staff, which I've, I'm going to paint and I've put them together. These little two pieces are little hatch, oh, I don't know what you call them, but they're little walls that go on each side of here. So for the doorway entrances, my guess is that they're wind blocks because I could imagine the wind would get quite strong up on here. And um, so they block the wind and allow access in and out of there. Um, I've got, also got the anchor, and I think that's probably part of the shaft connected to the anchor. The anchor. So I'm going to paint them up as well. Uh, everything there is white, so that's quite simple. I'll get on to that. Oh, I've also, and I've almost bumped them when I move the ship around, I have bumped them, but it's okay, they're all here. I've got all of these, close look. So all those are the little railings that go around the props that are up on the deck that sit in those little circle spots there. So each railing will sit around each one of those fins of the propellers i guess they're spares so i guess if they have a problem with one at least they're on the deck there they can use them when they're in port to place i'm not so sure how easy that would be but anyway um they look good and that's what they're there for they're displayed nicely so i'm also going to do the railings around there now they all have to be bent as well into shape I'll show you on the instructions here so there they are here. There's 16 of them. And um, they should be quite simple to put those curves in. And the little feet at the bottom where they sit on 
just get bent out as well. So that'll be fine. There's those other wind block sections which cover the doorway in underneath, which I've done. There's the end sign, jack staff, all there. And these, of course, have been put together and with the little platforms on top. So that's all done. And I've got one more clock that sticks out on the wall to put in place. I'm not sure which one I've, oh, I've circled one. Yeah, that one's done. So I've got one more to go there and one more to go there. Yeah, I'll come back and do that. And then, of course, there's all the areas on here. Um, there's that railing around there. And there's also railing to put on here as well, but we'll, that'll come on a little bit later. Um, also a little ladder that's positioned down in there as well. All little detail bits that just, you know, make it so much better when you have uh, um, photo etch. All right. Okay, so... I'll get on to this, and again, we'll be back shortly. Um, for me, it'll be it's late in the afternoon now, so I'll get these painted, let it all dry overnight, and, uh, back onto it in the morning, and, um, yep, yeah, I'll see you then. Okay, welcome back, everyone. So, I've got all my pieces all painted up to go on here. I've got the railings bent, and... They're drying that go around the propeller shafts that are all, or the propeller, I don't know what they the pieces they are. Um, they're all drying. So what I've got to do now is, oh, I did the anchor and the stuff for the anchor on there. So they're painted up black, including those which were the little wind breaks that go on the side, each side there. So now I'm going to just do the tops of these railings here, which are going to be brown, the handrail at the top, mainly because I'm doing it. Normally I'll do it after I put it on, but in this case it's sitting quite close to the to here as it goes around, so I don't want to accidentally get some paint on the white wall there. So I'll, I'll paint them while they're off and then put them on. And if I need to touch up anywhere, that'll be a lot safer than trying to paint the whole rail, including the ones that are in the corners here, which are quite difficult to get to. So all pre-painted. The ensign stuff is, I can't show you at the moment, but it's on the stern of the ship. I've placed that in position. The one, the jack staff here, I will not put on yet, even though it's painted, um, because there's railing to go around and there's a chance I might knock it. So... That will be one of the last things to go on. Okay, so I've got my brown uh, XF64, which I've been using for all the railings on the ship, and I will now paint these up. The rest of the railings, which I haven't even taken off the sprue yet, that go all on here, they're just going to be white. There is no railing on there, which is obvious because no passengers would be getting out into this area. All right, so I'll come back and we'll have a look, and probably when we come back next... I'll have also all the cranes on as well, and which are all just white. There's no real little detail I need to put on those anywhere. And also these little towers here as well, which go straight there into place. I'll put them on. So yeah, we'll come back and have a look at that and see how that's all come out. Okay, back. Oh, and of course, I know I keep saying it, but I've got to do the aerials on top of here as well. So I'm going to do that right now, actually, so I don't keep telling you I'm going to when I haven't. I'm going to do that. All right, back shortly. Okay, welcome back. So just giving you a bit different view here so you can see what I've done on this foredeck. So you can see we've got the... Well, I get my um, cotton bud pointing device. Won't damage anything. Is our anchor down here and the two cranes these two things tell me in the comments i'm sure somebody knows what they are there's our railing running all the way around it's all painted up properly now we've got these little wind block pieces one on each side and obviously there's a little entry and that's in there so that's the doorway goes through there so all I'm about to do now is put all the um, little 
railings that go around these here. Now, the thing with those is I think I'll have to fit the blades of the props um, first because of the way these have to be positioned. So I've already prepared them way, way back. That was one of the first steps I did when I did started this build. And um, actually they're just within reach here. Just give me a second. We'll have a quick look at them. Okay, so they they are actually in here, and uh, I won't take them out. Um, one thing I do remember is that I'm missing one. Yeah, there was always one missing. Searched the box, everything, I couldn't find it, so I'll we'll have to deal with that when we get to it. But um, those will need these will need to be put in place in those spots there. So we've got two, four, six, eight. And the little hand railings will go around them. All right. So, uh, yep. Let me get back into it. And uh, we'll come back again. Cheers. Okay. So, quite a bit more done. Um, getting quite a bit done today. It's really good. So, what I've done here is I've got my... Um, all the blades on here from the props... They're all glued in place. All I need to do is put the railings around them, which are painted up, ready to go, and almost dry. Then I'm going to... I've got everything, everything else is on here, as you can see. That's just sitting there, so I'm not going to glue that in just yet. Now I'm going to do the railings on here, which are all bent to shape, as you'll see here. All bent to the proper shape and painted and ready to go on. Now, I did make one little mistake. Um, the instructions were a little bit confusing. I'll just see if I can show this to you. So, going by the instructions, you can see here, this piece here, I thought, was just one piece starting there and finishing at the point, as I thought it would be. And then that's part 04. Part 03 would be this piece, also finishing at that point. But when I cut that one off the sprue and tried to fit it, it was too long. I didn't know why. I thought, ah. Oh. So anyway, I trimmed a bit off the end and made it fit, and then I suddenly realised that it doesn't end at the point here. It actually ends down here where the ladder is. So this piece actually goes all the way along, down and around to there. That explains why it was too long. Anyway, I'd already cut the piece off, so it doesn't matter. I've got that piece, so I'll, I'll still be able to connect that on and everything else will be fine. But just something, if you're doing this and you've got the um, Platinum Edition, be aware that don't think that that um, ends there when it does actually go around and ends to there. Don't make that mistake. Um, otherwise, I've got the ladder. I've got all this ready to go on. And then I'll be able to circle all of those and everything on this complete page will be done. So that's uh, page five of the photo etch. Also, I've painted all the glass panels that run along the top of the ship. So if I can just bring this down a bit. So there's a glass panel that goes along here and one on the other side and then there's one that goes along here and the other side I've used my black um, paint that I used to tint the windows on the lifeboats here but I've done a really fine spray not nowhere near as dark as that but a little bit darker they're probably going to be a little bit lighter than what um, those windows of the bridge are as well I'm just going to make sure they dry properly before I attempt to put them on so I don't cause any scratches or anything but they're ready to go also these little back again these here little glass panels as well are also tinted and they're painted up and they're ready to go as well so that'll go on now I'm getting quite a lot done to the point where um, a lot of the instructions are um, so let's have a quick look. 
for instance, um, where are we? Right, so that's all done. That's done. That's all done. Um, so that I've just I've put all those on. So I'll be able to tick that off. That's step 63. Step 64, also done. I can tick that off. 65 was done a while back because I was running off the photo etch instructions. So that those little balcony uh, railings are on. That's done. These are part of the tennis and basketball courts, uh, which I haven't done yet, but I won't be using a lot of this stuff because they have the photo etch to replace all this clear plastic. I'll be using the photo etch to do that. Going over the page, we get to 68, and that is all the kit supplied railings on the bow, which we're not using, so that, that'll all be photo etched, so that can pretty much be ticked off. Number 69, again, that's already ticked off because we used photo etch railings. We're progressing through quite quickly. 70 will be set to focus um, when we put the um, tennis and basketball court surrounds on, which will be the photo etch. There's also a couple of little poles there with some lights on it. I haven't done yet. I will be doing those. Um, this is all railing that was done previously. It's all been replaced with photo etch, so that can all be ticked off. This is the obviously you've seen the roof over the pool. That's done. That can be all ticked off. That's 73. Then we go to 74. Again, all done to be ticked. That 75 can be ticked off. This is what I just mentioned that I painted up and tinted, which is those glass panels that run along the side. We'll be doing that next which is 76. Really hammering through now. 77 is the ones more forward along that upper deck, including this piece here across the top of the bridge, which I've also got painted up. That's all right to go as well. This has all been done in the past with photo etch. This was on the back of the ship with more railings. So no problem. That's 78. We're getting close to the end of this when you look at it, in reality. 79's done. 80's done around the pool. If we all use photo etched, I've ticked all them off already. It's all done as well. That's the two little wind brakes that go on the top that I just showed you. That's why it's not ticked off yet, but it will be. Then we get up to step 83, uh, which is all done. Stairways, railing is done. 84. More around the rear was, was already ticked off. That's all done. That's ticked. The only reason that wasn't ticked off on 86 is because the flagpole on the stern wasn't there, which it is now on, so I can tick that off. And we're down to 87, which is putting the props on. Fantastic. So they're all painted up, ready to go on as well. Then there's still a lot of decals to go which will be in the next video. <laughs> we'll, we'll get on to that, as well as some rigging up on our mast. Let me see here. We've got quite a bit of rigging. So there's, there's a bit there to be done. And then, of course, over the page 88 goes to step 89, which is the last um, step of the build, which we've already done, of course, because that included all the lifeboats. Um, but there is, it looks like, just a few decals. Oh, and the Queen Mary to Southampton uh, decal for the rear. So there's a few decals to go on. Also on the bridge, the black decals to go on. So, yeah. So we're nearly done. We're nearly done. Mm -hmm. and, and I will get quite a bit done this weekend. So let's see how I go. So right now... I'm going to, what am I going to do? Oh, the railings on this front here. So I'll get all these railings on and uh, I've got the aerials all painted up to put on top of here. And uh, then we'll come back and uh, have a quick look at that. Okay, back shortly. Okay, welcome back, everybody. So what I thought we'd do is just go for a run over... Um, what's left to do we'll go along the ship and just have a look 
and see what I've done and what still needs to be done. Um, I was just recently watching uh, Jason on Model Kit stuff uh, of one of his previews, and in that uh, in the chat mentioned these um, blades for the props, the spares all here on the deck, and how I'm, I've lost one since since I opened up the box. Actually, I don't know where it went. Um, Probably when I was washing the parts, I think I lost that piece. But apparently it turns out that it's not uncommon for uh, one or two of these to be missing. In fact, he tells me that at this point in time, there's two missing <laughs> uh, that are being used. So I'm not so concerned about having one of those missing in there. So it makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> so we're going along here. And we'll have a look and see that everything on here, everything on the deck here is, uh, on this fore deck is done. So there's nothing more to be done on there. As well, I'm going to slide forward a little bit. And you'll see that uh, the mast, of course, we've still got rigging to do. So there's quite a bit of rigging to go on up there. We also have a lot of photo etch railings and parts to put around including a couple of posts which I think have lights on them either side here where the basketball and tennis court are so that's to be done I also still want to put the green netting around those courts if I can get that to work now, even though I have noticed that as much as I tried to find green netting I've noticed that some of the more recent pictures of the Queen Mary 2 have it as black. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go for the green. <laughs> so all this is all done. There are, of course, I didn't mention the front there. We've got decals to go on there, which black areas around the windows. We're doing that. Uh, there's also decals up on these uh, radar units. I've only just stuck down these windbreak um, glass panels on there, so they're glued, glued down. I've still got to put the panels along here and on the other side. And, uh, they're ready to go, but I just want to leave myself space and room to be working on here. There's a few intricate bits there, so I don't want them in the way. They'll probably be very, one of the very last things I do. Um, again, there's another panel that runs along here as well on each side. That'll go on. That'll also go on after. Um, the pool area there is all complete. Um, they're just open. They're just sitting there. I can have that open or closed. Uh, there's our funnel all done. Nothing more to be done on that. You can see all the lifeboats are all looking good and all complete. So all the lifeboats are all looking done. Uh, well, they are done. <laughs> They're all finished. I'm going to slide this down a little bit further. Turn the camera a little bit. So here we have all the life rafts, which I'm told most of the crew use, these Zodiac rafts. They get, they get the luxury of the boats here. <laughs> but that all area there, including the cranes and winches, are all done. There are a few areas where I need to put in a few more little red um, boxes that you'll see that are around on some spots. Um, I need to put a few of those in there, just a little bit of extra detail. Uh, I think they're first aid kits, actually. Um, as we go further down now, I'm just going to bring this out and around a bit. It's quite a long ship. <laughs> um, so the decks on the back here are all done now there's nothing more to be added onto them uh, other than more decals on that and of course there'll be the name of the ship going on the rear there which is a large decal for that and of course we haven't got the props on underneath that will be the very very end and oh and also way back early um and i'm sure this is correct but when i put these stabilizers in um the instructions said that they were white 
Now I'm just going to check. Give me one sec. I'll be back in a moment. I'll just grab the instruction book. Okay, so I just grabbed the instructions. I'm just going to show you here. In Back in step eight, there's one of the stabilizers there. There's the other stabilizer. And it's obviously the same on the other side. And their color code for them is B. And when you go to the instructions and have a look, it's gloss white. Well, reality is, there they are there on the other side of the ship. Also labeled as gloss white B. Um, they're not. They're actually, which makes sense. Um, why would they be white below the waterline? So they're actually the same color red as the hull. So again, I will be touching those up. Um, but that'll be one of the last things I also want to do because they could easily be broken off. So one of the very last things before it goes into the case will be to touch those up. Um, the color of the hull, which shouldn't be any problem. You should be able to do that. Okay, and as for the case itself, let's have a look at that. We'll come back in a sec. Okay, so there's our ship on the workbench dining table. <laughs> and, uh, and where it's going to end up when it's finished will be on top of this display case. And it'll be in the case there. There's the there's the base. Ready for it. So that will be its uh, final resting place. So I will uh, now um, end the video here, as uh, gone on long enough, and. Um, and I'll just get this mount this camera again back in a second. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working on these photo etch pieces and get these the tennis court and basketball court um, set up, and that'll be in the next video. So we'll call this a video for now. So in part 23, the next one, we'll get that done. We'll put these screens along the side here and we'll work on the decals and the other bits and pieces we went through all right so thank you for watching please your comments are welcome below got any questions got any suggestions um or just and i just like reading your comments <laughs> um also um if you haven't already please subscribe hit the notifications bell so you get a notification when the videos come out, which at this point to me is every Monday morning to other parts of the world, it's probably Sunday night, afternoon. So yeah, please subscribe. And uh, if you're watching this for the first time, you can go back and watch from the beginning of the playlist. And you're welcome to look at look at all the other bits and pieces on my channel for my other model, model builds. And uh, of course, give us a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. I don't know if it really does much, but anyway. And I'll see you all in part 23. Okay, bye for now. Cheers.